Back up singers, what is good you guys? So today we are diving back into Jaden Animations, you guys. Today we are diving into random thoughts, you guys. Listen, I'm excited to get into it and see what is about to go down. So I'm going to shut it on up and press play. But if you are not a backup singer, honey, go ahead and become one before we get into the video. Smash that subscribe button as well as hit that bell to be notified when I upload brand new videos like this. It is that simple, honey. Now let's get into this video. Here we go. Alrighty, you guys, so I am Press and Play, and let's get into Jaden's random thoughts. Let's start off being honest right off the bat. I have no idea what this video is. I just had a random idea in my head. <laughs> what if I try to make a video that has literally no point to it? So here we are. Over the course oh, of like a or two, I started jotting down some of the random things that have crossed my brain and stuff along that line. Not the kind that are philosophical or have a deeper meaning, just... The stupid ones. I, this video might change the way you view me as a person. Whatever. Oh, no. I don't care. Let's get started. I was going through my phone contacts the other week, and I was like, you know what? I want to get rid of the people I don't really need to have in here. Some contact spring cleaning. So I started deleting people I've never talked to, and the further in I got, the more I was thinking, who are these people? Where did oh, they even come from? Same. I know that feeling. I'd be like, well, dang. When did I give you? What? Who, did I, who is this? How did you even get in my phone? Is this even a number? I'm here. Okay, Jaden. Jacob Acorn. I've never met a Jacob Acorn before. The frick. And then there'd be people where I only added their first name. Ashley? Ashley. <laughs> yes! Assuming new fans. Yes! Uh, yeah, delete. I don't talk to her. Oh, wait. Wrong Ashley. Yes, I've been there. Permanently erased some other Ashley from my life. Also, that whole process made me realize I have way less friends than I thought I did. Yes. Like, I didn't have oh my goodness! Yes. I a lot more people than I thought I would. Why am I relating to this so much? I am relating so much because after that process, you're like, damn, I ain't got no friends. Oh my goodness, that is me. That is me. My contact list is far smaller than it was before. Uh -huh. What if dogs were the humans of the earth? Like, instead of a human society, it was dogs. What would they create? Would they oh, my goodness. Government? What would their education system be? Would they create dog hobbies and dog sports? I'm not talking about oh the typical goodness. dual frisbees and tennis balls. Maybe they create a game where they wear face harnesses with a scoop that can hold a ball, and they have to toss the ball into a hole on opposite sides of the oh. court. Kind of like soccer or football. That would be so cute, teams right? To strategize and work together to win against the other dogs. Would they create art and music and invent things? Do they have passions that we couldn't think of? Like, if humans were just a wild animal, it would be much harder for us to realize that, say, playing a saxophone was your passion. Because oh my goodness. wild animals can't invent saxophones, silly. So you'd never discover That's that so side true. of yourself. But what if dogs could discover their passions and creative sides? Oh my like goodness. Humans? I'd want to go to a dog art museum and see what kind of art they'd make. Are you curious? If dogs had the intelligence and creativity of humans, what would they do with it? Oh would they my run goodness. Earth better than we are? In a weird way? I'd kind of hope so. In I kind of hope movies, so. Why is it always the piano that's the haunted, pretentious, scary instrument? I've seen the scenarios where pianos play <laughs> themselves, the uh -huh. keys are smashed down to make a really ugly sound, maybe the occasional lid will slam down and kill someone. Is it because people see them as elegant yet ominous at the same time, setting Ooh. up a good atmosphere? I want to watch a horror movie where instead of walking into a big empty room with a haunted grand piano in the center, a character walks into a big empty room and sees a ghost playing. <laughs> <laughs> yes you would run you would run you would turn around and run you wouldn't even go nowhere near the uh, piano or that you wouldn't go nowhere near it. you'd be like what the world is going on or you might just start dancing because you know me too when I hear that da -da 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 beat it you know you just want to dance but you know hey engaged in a movie like that. 
just saying. Why does nobody oh my talk about half-popped popcorn kernels? They're just as good as the full popcorn. True. Ones. After you've consumed 97% of your popcorn, you get to the kernels at the bottom, and instead of throwing them all away, you should crunch on the ones that are semi-popped. Mmm, heck! If you don't eat I've done that before. Kernels, you're missing out on some of the best things in life. One time I was at the grocery store getting groceries. Yeah, great <laughs> there, Jane. That was poetic. And at the checkout, I could tell the cashier was new at her job. Not like she was doing everything wrong, but you could see she didn't have the fluid motion mm -hmm. down of a professional grocery store scanner. Those mm -hmm. people have it down like it's an art form. That part. It's beautiful in a strange way. So she was scanning the things, and she got to the cilantro. You probably know this, but you can't just put a barcode sticker on cilantro. No. I think some stores will wrap a tag around uh -huh. it, but the place I was at just had a serial code that you the cashier had to type had to it in. Really punch mm -hmm. in. So the girl was flipping through the book that had all the serial codes in it and she couldn't find the cilantro code i've never mentally connected so much with a stranger before because i knew exactly <laughs> what was going on in her head she was uh -huh. trying to quickly find the code because she didn't want to feel like she was taking up time by being slow but in the stress of trying to quickly find the cilantro her brain was getting frantic which made her gradually start internally mm -hmm. freezing out even more because she felt like she was taking way too much time trying to find the code repeat cycle getting more and more intense every time and maybe after Listen, I was a cashier, so I know what's going on in her head, but you know what? Let me tell y'all my secret. For all the cashiers out there, if you a new cashier, what I did was, is I um took the label off the vegetable after I um, put the code in, and I literally had like this little notepad inside of the drawer, above the drawer, and I, I would open it, and all the little, little stickers was right there. So I had the stickers, baby. They were like, what you want up? 4153? Okay, orange is four zero five one three zero. What? Oh, I, you gotta find ways that work for you. So that book, baby. Listen, I understand. In the minute of her trying to find the code, she just silently put the cilantro in the bag. <laughs> she gave me free cilantro. <laughs> she said that cilantro code. Website dedicated to hating cilantro. www.ihatecilantro.com. Get out. They write haikus. Stressing about a close deadline is kind of relaxing in a sociopathic kind of way. We've all done it. You procrastinated a bunch on a project and are in the phase of We've been there. We've been there. It's tomorrow and it's already 10.45 p.m. and you've only got like 0% done. <laughs> but if you think about yes! it, it's kind of nice to see it as, well, I'm totally stressed and panicked out of my mind right now and would rather just self-implode. But this feeling is only going to last for a few more hours. Since the deadline's so close, if that, you didn't wait that is so last true. Minute, it would have been a less intense but drawn out feeling of dread while working versus this approach, which, even though is 10 times more mentally and emotionally draining <laughs> and likely very bad for your health, only has to last for like one day. That is so true. Hours if you really push it, so pick your battles. But don't say I told you which one to choose. I'm not responsible for any crummy projects you haphazardly spit out. I'm but still, not you know, my parents' house had really big windows in the living room, Ooh. and sometimes birds would fly into them. Most often, hummingbirds. Whenever one did, I would go outside to where it landed, and if it didn't die from slamming Aww. it first into a window, I would pick it up and help it calm down and recover from being stunned. Aww. A lot of people would probably say not to do that because it's a wild bird that can have wild bird diseases. And they're probably right. But imagine if you did that with humans. Oh, Some kid is outside cute. running around. They blindly run right into a tree and collapse on the ground. You run over to help them. And when you get to them, you go, eh, Sorry, kid, you've got a cold. Can't help you out, buddy. Also, so horrible. Also, that I've gotten to hold a hummingbird before. One even fluttered around me when it recovered. I'm a bird master. Oh. Like I said in the beginning, I was jotting all these down over a relatively long period of time, so I didn't just write all these in one go. And after looking at the list I made, I realized I wrote half-popped popcorn two separate times at <laughs> different occasions. I guess past Jane just felt extremely compelled to talk about half-popped popcorn. Yes. It is really good, though. Why do kids on the internet feel the need to tell their age so frequently? You see it all the time. I'm 13. I'm 6. I'm 2. Is there a reason they do it? Do they think it's vital information they need to convey? Whenever I see a comment uh, that's that a good starts question. With, I'm 9, and my brain kind of automatically writes off whatever they're about to complain about. I'm not saying people True. these ages don't say anything valuable to me. 
I really enjoyed I've seeing I've definitely done that before. I really liked your video. Because then it feels like that message was written with full child pureness. You know Aww. the time. There's still innocent beings that haven't experienced the cruelness of reality yet. Yeah. Any other time, mm -hmm. it's just a detail that adds nothing else to their statement. One time I got an email that said, I love your vids. I'm seven. So I responded with, thanks. I'm 19. Do they feel like they're obligated to express their age? <laughs> Please, Do I'm they think they're asserting dominance? Is it an accomplishment to them? That's a good question. Yet to find out. Oh my lie. goodness. I won't lie. This is definitely... No, uh, this video Ooh. was really fun to make. Look at the fan art. And experimental and all over the place. I don't know. I just had so much fun making it. I've seen I about loved it, Jaden. Like for a while, just like little random topics that aren't enough to make an entire video about on their own. I haven't seen anyone else do this kind of thing before either. I could be wrong. Maybe there's like <laughs> I could be wrong. people who already made videos like this before, and I'm not being creative at all. If so, then this was maybe. very creative. Again, it was pretty experimental and just. I'm so distracted no, by the fan art. Unpredictability of it. If you liked this format, I'd totally be down to make another one sometime. But if you're like, wow, Jaden, this was the suckiest video that ever sucked. Definitely was not the suckiest video. I probably won't make another. <laughs> that wouldn't be a smart move on my part. Well, I had fun. And that's all that matters. Period. Also, see you at VidCon. Oh my goodness, this was pure everything that I could ask for, y'all. I related to this, okay? Because you know what? I be asking some of these questions to myself, but now that I know that me and Jaden relay, hey, Jaden, how you doing, friend? I'm here for it. Alrighty, you guys, there you have it. Me writing the Jaden animation and random thoughts, baby. And some of these random thoughts I be really thinking about. So, Jaden, you own the something, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought about this video, honey. And do you be thinking about some of these random thoughts? Don't lie. Tell the truth. You know you do. You know you do. Period, you guys. Before you go, if you're not a bad thumb singer, go ahead and become one. Smash that subscribe button down below as well as hit that bell to be notified when I upload brand new videos like this. And I will see y'all next time. This is.